it's hard to imagine that a single class of weapon almost brought about a fundamental change in history. But our top submarine came dangerously close to doing just that. At number one, the best of the best, the submarine class that spawned legendary captains and almost gave Germany a decisive victory in the Second World War. Type 7 U-boat. Country of origin, Germany. Type medium-range attack submarine. Power plant, four diesel engines totaling 3,200 horsepower and two electric motors totaling 750 horsepower. Offensive armament, five 53-centimeter torpedo tubes and one nine-centimeter deck gun. Submerged displacement, 857 tons. The Type 7 U-boat is unarguably the most important submarine of the Second World War. It challenges the most powerful, not one, but the most powerful two navies in the world. And it succeeds in sinking millions of tons of their merchant ships and dozens of their warships. The Type 7 was the workhorse of Germany's World War II submarine fleet. Over 700 were constructed, making it the largest class of sub ever built. The Type 7 boasted a number of improvements, slightly greater depth, excellent hydrophones, dependable weaponry, and then a very, very, very fast dive rate. A well-handled Type 7 could disappear from the surface of the sea within 20 seconds. A fast dive, small profile, and nimble handling gave the Type 7 the one quality that all submarines strive for, stealth. On the 14th of October, 1939, Gunther Prien risks shallow water, tricky currents, and detection by its enemy to penetrate the Royal Navy's base at Scapa Flow. With three torpedoes, he sank the British battleship HMS Royal Oak and escaped unharmed. Well, it even drew words of admiration from Winston Churchill, who said it was the most astonishing feat. And in a sense, that kicked off the U-boat war in a truly memorable fashion. Admiral Karl Donitz was convinced his U-boats could destroy the Allies, and he set about proving it. By communicating with his boats, he was able to assemble wolf packs, groups of up to 20 U-boats which ambushed merchant convoys. The tactic worked brilliantly, and U-boat captains became heroes of the fatherland. Eric Topp was one of these elite officers. His boat, U-552, was nicknamed the Red Devil. In March and April of 1942, he sank eight ships for a total of 45,731 tons, a feat which brought recognition from the Führer himself. He made his crew feel invincible, and they would have followed him to the gates of hell and back. And in many cases, they did. The five most successful Type 7s sank 221 ships between them. Over one million tons sent beneath the waves, robbing the Allies of men, materiel, and perhaps most important of all, hope that Europe could be saved. Churchill says the only thing that keeps him awake at night is the concern about the U-boats cutting Great Britain off from the rest of the Empire and indeed from the United States. And Churchill is right. But in 1943, the tide turned against the U-boats. At the Casablanca conference, Allied leaders resolved to end the submarine menace. Protective convoys were stepped up across the Atlantic. The British had also cracked the German Enigma machine, allowing them to decipher orders being sent to the U-boat fleet. The U-boats had been the hunters. Now, they became the hunted. With the exception of the Japanese kamikaze arm, the submarine forces suffer the highest loss rates during the Second World War. In the case of the U-boat force, those losses are cataclysmic. The crews gave the U-boats a new nickname, Iron Coffins. 
But despite their losses, the Type 7 U-boat remains one of the most influential weapons of the Second World War. In five years of intense combat, they sank 2,779 ships, a total of 14.1 million tons. The Type 7 class sinks more enemy merchant shipping than any other type of submarine in the conflict, suffers the highest losses of any submarine in the conflict, but causes the greatest fear and the most anxiety to the largest number of nations at the time it is deployed. The Type 7 U-boat that fought her way through the hardest naval campaign in history has also fought her way to the top of our list. She scores maximum marks for fear factor and combat performance. Innovation is excellent, while stealth and service length are impressive, making this German legend our number one. Despite facing stiff competition from submarines that cost billions of dollars and can flatten entire cities, the Type 7 is at the top of our list. Its crews were tested to the very limits of endurance. The boat was an uncompromising underwater assassin and its captains went down in history as the doomed but brilliant masters of submarine warfare. The Type 7 truly is the best of the best. <laughs>